So finally, we have in the aggregate function minimum. So minimum is we want to find the, the minimum value. So just like again, we run this. Now we run, ran it against the runs. We want to find out who made the minimum run in their career. It would be, obviously it will be somebody who's a bowler. So we're gonna copy this here. Oh, okay. Let's copy just this simple command. One by step by step is a is a good approach always. So we're gonna find minimum. Again, mini minimum. We want to find the runs. It will give us who made the minimum run. So somebody made 356. We don't know who it is. The only way finding is that uh, we could go and uh, you know. Uh, manually look but uh, we can run a nested query of this is we will see that in, in detail but uh, for for our purpose let's run it right now select uh, star let's say player name from where runs Come on, runs is equal to again select. So this needs to be in a selector command. So that's why we're doing it running in a nested query. So it will be select minimum runs from cricket from cricket underscore db dot dbu dot cricket and we can end it so this should give us the player name who made the lowest runs <laughs> okay this is it's giving us uh, oh I'm not running both of them I'm running just the first one so execute and now Xiaomi made the minimum run and just like again we can find the full detail of Xiaomi if we wanted to just copy paste here remove player name and then add star so it will give us the whole each and every column or we can uh, write down all the columns that we needed so Xiaomi he is age is 25 he played 20, 45 matches 30 innings he made only 35 six runs his 50s and only one so his average run rate is 11 per match all right so that's about it I'm gonna uh, 11 uh, per uh, inning so this is about the minimum uh, and the end of aggregate function for us